So what makes this album any different than the other ones? I have hours and hours and hours of ambient guitar looping. First off, I'll mention for those who have been asking to put my music on iTunes and Spotify, your dream has come true. Your request has been granted, and this album will be my first album that I'm releasing on all the platforms. So if you buy my music on Bandcamp, nothing's changing there. But for those who have been wanting it on other platforms, you can find it on any platform that you purchase and listen to music on. And so anyway, I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way. But what makes this one different? I think the number one thing that makes this album different, it's been recorded in the last few months. And what's special about these last few months, this has been the most intense emotional season. Like the highs and the lows of the album really match the highs and the lows of the emotional content, even just during the last several months of just the deep lows and the crushing stuff that's been going on, as well as the highs and the hope that we're feeling. Um, and just the message of the Lord in the context of feeling this just back and forth emotional stuff. It wasn't bipolar. It's like there were things that were sad and tragic and just Allie and I feeling senses of betrayal and uh, different things, but then also hope and excitement for the future. But the emotional content, I think, is what separates this one from the other albums. And that's why I couldn't name this album the way I traditionally name albums when I pick a season of revival or a biography and then name the album and the track titles after someone else's season. This album really encapsulates the sounds of this season for me. And during all the writing, all the recording, all the looping, all the producing, automating, mixing, mastering, has been through this deep emotional season. And so this really encapsulates the soundtrack for myself in the season. And so the emotional content is what makes this different. And now because of the emotional content, this one is a lot more produced. There's a lot more percussion. There's a lot more changing parts. I haven't let go of what I like as far as being able to build things off of loops. And so I love musical moments where you can just sit there and not move away from too quickly and that can become a bed for your reading, your thinking, your writing, even something in the background while you're working. So when music moves too quickly, for me it, it, it's frustrating and, and unmotivating and so I love it when the musical moments can sit and develop. And I love the builds and I love the drops and so I made sure to put those in this album where the whole album flows. The closest project I think I've done to this so far is the Hearing Love soundtrack about four years ago. But the level of production on this one uh, far surpasses what I was able to do with Hearing Love. Uh, whether it was musicianship, better quality instruments this time around, some new effects, um, learning how to use old effects more proficiently. So just on a practical scale, like that's that's one of the things that's making this album different. I still have tracks that are built around loops, and one of my favorite things to build a song around is a micro loop. So not necessarily longer loops that repeat sections, but a micro loop. And what I mean by that is micro loops are like a melodic rhythmic piece that just stays constant through the whole song while well, the song rises and falls and you have that steady micro loop just keeping the song steady. That's one of my favorite techniques to use and I would often use it live and so a lot of the micro loops in this album I used live in the prayer room and then I would come home and compose a whole song just around that one micro loop. And uh, so I had a blast doing those things. I have other great big songs. And so I enjoy all kinds of musical genres. I'm a bass player first, so I was really excited to be able to incorporate more bass playing in this album because there's a lot more percussion than in my previous albums. And then I would say second to bass playing, I love playing ambient guitar. I can play different styles, but I really, really like ambient guitar. Just that soft sit there, just be in the moment. And I enjoy doing that with acoustic, with a good thick reverb pad. I enjoy doing that with long reverb tails on electric and coming up with simple melodies on the electric as well with just exploring the tones on different guitars. And so I like ambient music. I also just like chill lo-fi R&B music. Uh, I like a good driving post-rock song that's just gonna melt my face off. Um, and I like big fat synths as well. And so just able to pull from all of these inspirations and put it in one album for all those pieces to work together and create something that really for my ear hits everything that I want to hear. When I listen to Transitions, 
There's not a tone or a sound or a style that I feel like I'm missing. Everything flows so well. It'll relax you, chill you out, motivate you. That'll just kind of put you in the groove and then just shake you to the core with some good 808 hits and a post-rock driving section. And so anyway, I hope you enjoy the album. I enjoyed recording it. I didn't enjoy going through the season that I just went through, but I'm enjoying the fruit of that season, if I could say that. I am excited for the future. I'm excited for different things, but the track titles will give you maybe a little bit more insight to some of the bigger picture things that have been going on this past season. But hopefully more than that, the music will grip you and minister to you, just as I was still able to play and record uh, with my friend Jesus. I love playing for him and inspired by him, no matter what season I'm going through. And so anyway, Transitions, it's available on my Bandcamp page if you guys are used to downloading that, and then it's available on any platform you want to listen to it on. So it's out today. If you're watching this in the future, then it's already out. And you can just look up David Lee Brown Transitions, and you'll see the album artwork that pops up. That's half of my face and then a heart. And Allie's actually the one who did the artwork for me. She did such a good job of uh, kind of capturing in visual form the heart and the essence of the album, which is the mind and the heart coming together and information transitioning to the heart and emotions transitioning into the mind so there's a complete understanding um, of everything that's going on but anyway uh, I won't get into those details but again thank you Ali for the artwork and uh, thank you all for watching this video and I'm gonna end this thing so you can go spend the next hour and a half listening to transitions y'all have a good day bye